Okay, I'm gonna be quite honest with you. These are literally the best open back headphones I've worked with so far. They are the MM500 by Odyssey. Let's have a look. Hey, what's going on, my friend? The Chris Salim here from Mixdown Online. So excited to be here with you talking about these amazing planar magnetic open back headphones by Odyssey. Now, the MM500 are designed with the mixing engineer and music producer in mind. Because the reason is very simple, because Odyssey partnered up with an amazing multi-platinum uh, Grammy Award winner mixing engineer called Manny Marroquin, or Manny Marroquin. So they got together and they designed the MM500. And again, designed for music production, mixing and mastering. And you can tell, they actually look pretty, pretty good. And they are very solid, pretty well made, you know. They are not super heavy, not super light also. You know, they're a bit heavier than uh, all the other headphones I work with, but they are light enough so I can mix for several hours with them, which is good. They are so comfortable. You know, they are over ear headphones, so the ear pads will surround your ears and they are open back, like I said earlier, meaning that the sound will not be contained uh, within the headphones like a closed back headphone will. Okay, so you get a bit more of an open sound, like it says in open back, you know, of course. So they are not made for recording, especially if you record uh, like a vocal, an acoustic guitar, anything where the microphone is close uh, to the performer. For the most part, they're gonna work well when arranging music, writing music, uh, editing, mixing, and mastering. Now, the general look is very nice, you know? Uh, they do look a lot like the LCD5 by the same company, Odyssey, which is Odyssey's high-end pair of headphones. And I kinda like that design. Very nice. Let's go on the Odyssey website and look at some of the specs uh, that we get with the MM500. Uh, now, talking about the price to begin with, they are not cheap headphones, okay? They go out at $16.99 US dollars. But I'll be honest with you, you do get what you pay for. Uh, okay, let's go down and look at uh, the specs. Uh, so like I said, they are over ear, open back headphones, planar magnetic and 90 millimeters when it comes to the uh, transducer type and size, uh, a maximum SPL of 130 dB, which is quite loud, so they can handle high volume. Uh, also, uh, the impedance uh, is down to 18 ohms, and that means that I can drive them uh, using a high quality headphone amp, uh, my sound interface, uh, headphone output, uh, and even my computer, okay? So um, I'll be able to drive them with any types of devices. Um, that I have access to, uh, which is great. And they also weigh to 495 grams, uh, which is lighter than the LCD X, which is another uh, Odyssey headphone model that is very popular. Uh, so these are gonna be a bit lighter, which is good, especially by mixing for several hours. They're gonna do the job pretty well. Now, something very special though, that I have to point out is the packaging. Look how they came in, in this carrying case, which is quite impressive. Look at this, it's crazy. So they come with that carrying or travel case, which is <laughs> pretty big though. <laughs> That's impressive. So this is where the headphones uh, came in, you know, when I got them, which will include a little carrying bag also, little cards here for warranty and stuff. Detachable high quality stereo cable. And there's even a couple of keys if you wanna lock the headphones in the travel case, which is quite nice. Okay, I'm gonna make something clear. This is not a sponsored video. I did not get paid to make this video by Odyssey. They did send me a pair of MM500 and they are not leaving this studio. And that's because I love to work with them. <laughs> so, and that's the reason I'm making this video. I never talk about a product that I don't like or believe in or don't use myself. And that's why I decided to make a video about the MM500 because I do use them a lot uh, since I received them a couple of months ago. Uh, so uh, they just got released 
not too long ago. I think they were released in July or August, if I'm not mistaken. So they are new on the market, uh, basically. So let's look at the sound. And this is the important part and one of the biggest reason I like to work with them. They are gonna sound good on the full frequency spectrum. Uh, nothing is too hyped in a non-natural way, you know? Everything is um, like well represented when it comes to the full frequency range, which is important when mixing. You know, you don't wanna end up with a pair of headphones uh, that are too hyped on the low end or too hyped on the top end or not enough hyped on both ends. That takes a long time to get used to them before making the right decisions when mixing. These will sound very accurate and very natural in a very balanced way across the board. Now, I didn't mention that when we looked at the specs before, but they go down uh, from five hertz to 50 kilohertz, which is crazy. Even a dolphin is gonna enjoy working with these headphones. When we look at the bass frequencies uh, and also the low end, uh, they will give me a very nice uh, punchy and tight uh, bass response. And the extension to the low end is linear, uh, deep and well balanced. Not too much, not under, uh, under hyped also, which is very important to make the right mixing decisions when mixing low end. So I'm getting a clean and balanced sound when it comes to uh, the bass and low end frequencies. When it comes to the mid range, I'm getting a very nice balanced sound, neutral, natural, and I kind of like that. The upper mid range sounds rich, clear, detailed, and revealing. So we're getting a bit of a, a bit more of an upfront upper mid-range, which is great for mixing. So it gives me a very nice picture of the mid-range in general, the low mids and also the upper mid-range. So I do get a lot of details out of the mid-range instruments, like a vocal, for example, which is a very good thing. Let's face it, when we mix, what's important is what? The mid-range, way more than the low end and way more than the top end. It's all about the mid-range and they do work very well when it comes to the mid-range. Now, the high frequencies are not hyped, which is good. They sound open, clear, detailed, accurate, and they also maintain the natural sound character of the headphones, which is great. Uh, when it comes to the stereo image, it's gonna sound wide, but not too wide. So they keep a very nice realism to the instrument placement within the stereo field. I also get great depth, which adds to the separation of the instruments. The dynamic range sounds very good, especially when listening to the uh, quietest part of a song uh, compared to the loudest part of a song. Same for the transient response that sound very detailed. Since I received them, I was able to mix a few songs with them. And the most important thing that I found by working with uh, the MM500 is that they translate very well. So while mixing, when I jumped from my headphones to my studio monitors, I was not lost. Everything sounded great. And same when listening to my mixes on other systems. And this is a very important aspect when um, looking for a pair of headphones uh, to mix on. The fact that they do translate very well is a big plus as far as I'm concerned. So in a nutshell, what I'm getting with these headphones is a nice, balanced, natural, and accurate sound that is gonna give me a good picture when mixing and mastering music, which is why I love to work with them. So let me know what you think. Leave your comments and questions down below. I'm also gonna leave the link down below if you wanna take a look at the MM500. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to the channel if you're new here or if you're not subscribed yet. Until next time, take care and see you.